Hi everyone. I'm waiting for Instagram to connect. All right, here we go. Hey everyone, welcome to Crafting in Quarantine. My name is Dabney. I'm a young adult librarian at the Twin Lakes Library System and I use they them pronouns. Um, so this is Pride Month, June. We haven't talked about it a lot yet um, because we've been paying more attention to a very important issue in our country right now, which is um, Black Lives Matter. This was my project from last night. Um, but as you can tell, I <laughs> decorated my bookshelves. So I've got out a lot of great um, young adult LGBTQ uh, plus books and Abby, she's actually going to be recommending some of those to you um, next Monday for Must Read Monday, so tune in for that. Um, but yeah, so today I wanted to do like a really fun, simple summary craft that you can do at home. And what I did is I made um, these sand art crafts. So for this, um, I used salt instead of sand. And um, these are the trans flag pride colors. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this craft, you will need a few materials. So hopefully you can substitute and find what you need at home. But I used, um, for today, we're going to use Epsom salts. But um, if you don't have that, you could use like regular table salt, kosher salt. You could use like white non-colored sand, um, like either craft sand or I don't know why you would have sand for the ocean, from the ocean around your house, but that would work too. Um, you could also use rice. People, I've seen people on Instagram do that. And I just got this from the Dollar Tree. Um, they also sell bags of craft sand there. So you could use, um, you could buy that there. Uh, Walmart also carries these things. Um, and like I said, rice, rice works. Um, the other thing you'll need, and this might be a bit more tricky to find, is uh, colored chalk. So I think I got this at Walmart. I think probably the Dollar Tree would sell it. Um, but you know, if you don't have colored chalk, a couple things you could use instead would be um, like paint or food coloring. I'm not sure if crayons would work, but you could try that. Um, if you do use paint or food coloring, what you would need to do is have like little separate bowls or um, plates where you could add the colors to your um, salt or your sand or your rice. I don't know if salt would be the best thing to use for that because I'm not sure if the salt would like dissolve in the paint or the food coloring. So. Um, that could be like an experiment, but yeah, if you're using salt, like kitchen salt or um, rice, you know, check and make sure it's okay that you are getting into those supplies and using them. Um, yeah, we're using chalk today. The other thing you're going to need is a container to keep your craft in. So this I actually got from the Dollar Tree. They sell... One time when I was there, they were selling some sand art kits, um, and this was in one of them. I also have this, which I think I got at Hobby Lobby, but again, Walmart might have something similar. And, you know, if you're just working with what you've got at home, then using a jar would work. Like, you know, if you had a peanut butter jar that was empty, just wash it out really good, take off the labels, and um, that could work for your craft. If you're filling, if you're planning to fill your jar all the way up, try to get like a smaller jar. That way it'll take like less material to fill it. Or, you know, um, I had an idea that if you had like a really big jar, say like a pasta sauce jar, something that had like a wide opening at the top, you could, you know, fill it not all the way, but maybe partway filled with 
sand or salt or rice. And then you can make it like a terrarium. You could put some things in there, um, Lego figures, action figures, um, whatever you've got, really, and, you know, make it look cute. I knew somebody one time who had terrariums that had plants in them and then little Lego Star Wars figures kind of like staged around sort of like a diorama. It was really cool. So those are just um, some, you know, ideas of what you could do. So right now I'm just going to show you all how to do this craft and um, one important thing to keep in mind is you know we're going to be coloring the salt and so I'm going to be pouring out a little bit and coloring it and just keep in mind that you know if you're working with a smaller container you're not going to need to pour out a whole lot at, at a time. Um, so we're going to start with that. Okay. So I'm just pouring about this much because I'm going to put this in both of my little containers and I'm doing rainbow colors. So you're going to start with the color. I just <laughs> knocked over the salt all over my floor. Oh no. You're going to start with the color that's going to be in your bottom layer. And it's been a while since I've done this, so this is like actually a bit more difficult than I remembered. So you're just kind of rubbing your shock over your salt. And trying to get like that pigment to rub off on the salt. We've done this before at the library because um, you can buy colored sand. Like Hobby Lobby has lots of colors of sand you could use. But we have people on Instagram. I'm going to move it over so y'all can see what we're doing. Um, yeah, so like Hobby Lobby sells colored chalk. But not colored chalk. They do sell colored chalk. They sell colored sand and it's kind of expensive. Like it adds up. So that's why we're like making our own. Um, Dollar Tree also has like a limited amount of colored sand you can get. So you just kind of are pressing the chalk down on the salt till you think it's the right color. These are going to be like pastels and then you end up with uh, chalk all on your fingers. Now I have my sheet of paper down that I'm working on which is good because then this can act as a funnel. So we're going to funnel this into our container and have our first layer So I'm going to stop about there and do this one. And that's about a good level. And I have extra so I'm actually going to leave it on here because I'm going to do blue next and then you know we can kind of have a purplish blue going on. So get out your blue chalk and add some more salt to it. Um, like I said, I accidentally dumped salt all over my floor a second ago. <laughs> Alright, now just press down on your salt. One time when we did this at the library, um, one of the students had a really good idea, which was, you know, they just got like a pencil and used the edge of the pencil to scrape the side of the chalk. So they were just scraping chalk onto um, the salt. So that actually...
actually works really well. And I might do that for the next color layers because um, this is a little bit more time consuming than I remembered. <laughs> also, it's really loud. So we might need some more. And with this craft, you know, you can make, like, I'm doing the rainbow flag, but you can make whatever you want. Like, you could just do it all one color if you're like, I love blue and that's all I want. Do that. Um, all right. We're going to add our blue. Okay, I am making a mess over here, y'all. There's salt all over the place. My hands getting really colorful. All right, one sec, let me grab a pencil. Okay, so gonna add more salt for green, and we're gonna try this. I don't know if this is any quicker. I feel like the Instagram video, we're going to run out of time before I finish this, but that's okay. This will be up on Instagram Live. Not, yeah, no. Instagram TV, IGTV, after we're done. And we also have a YouTube channel with all of our teen videos. Must Read Monday, Crafting in Quarantine, Slice of Life. It, it's current up to this week. Like it has the Monday video on there. Um, there are captions, which I edited, so they should be very correct. Um, and y'all can go on there anytime and watch them. We would love it if you would subscribe and like our videos and leave us comments on them. Um, this past Monday, like just this week, I did a video on um, social justice in young adult books, particularly like focusing on Black Lives Matter. And um, yeah, I would love it if y'all would check that out. So messy. <laughs> okay, doing good. And um, one thing I didn't, I don't know if I said it in my video on Monday, but I'll say it now. Um, you know, I've been tuning in nightly. Nick Stone, she is a um, black young adult author, and she lives, she's from Atlanta, she lives in Atlanta, and she has been doing um, a fabulous series of Instagram videos that, you know, this week particularly, she's doing a series called Let's Talk About Race, um, bringing in, you know, authors and other people to talk about different issues. And last night's um, episode, she had Jody Pico on there, and they were talking about white fragility. And, I mean, I, God, I learned so much, you know, things that I had kind of had questions about or I wasn't unsure about. You know, they talked about those things in just, like, a really approachable way. And I really appreciated it. And she also has a series where she brings on young adult authors who are debuting, you know, new books. And not just young adult authors, because I watched video today and she had um, James Bird talking about his book which is The Brave so he is a Native American author and 
his book is about um, a Native American boy, and it's like middle grades, um, like a middle grades book, and I am really excited to read it. I had not heard about it, so, you know, again, this series, like her debut series, is great because, you know, I want to know about these books. Like, I love books. Um, I'm a young adult librarian. Um, I love to talk about books and hear authors talk about books. So I recommend it. Um, another really cool thing that I shared on um, the Teen Tumblr page, which is everything YA at TLLS, is um, BookCon Online was last weekend. And, you know, I put a link to, like, their Facebook page because they have all the videos on there from, like, the different panels. Um, I didn't get to go to that many of them because I was kind of busy. But I went to one um, transcending the binary. So they had, you know, it was a panel of trans authors, trans and non-binary authors, talking about their work and talking about their experiences. Um, and it was just really good. And then after that, I went to one about um, Youth to Power. So it was young adult authors um, who are mostly authors of color talking about, you know, different social justice issues within their books. And it was really, really amazing. Um, so we are almost done with this craft. I hope we don't run out of time. I've got one more layer to do. I continue to get salt all over my table. Okay. So our last layer is red. Okay. Yeah, like I said earlier, um, I went through and put together this massive list of like young adult books um, that are like that have LGBTQ plus characters and themes. And it's going to be shared soon online. We're kind of working on building a page on our website for it. And, you know, it'll be notated to show what's available online, you know, on what digital platform and what is available in our collection, like print collection. And it's like over 400 books. looks pretty good. I'm gonna finish this up. So these are done. Super cute. And you can make these at home. And if you do, I would love to see them. Oh, this one's kind of has like a small um, layer. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, y'all. See you next time. Um, yeah, so that is it. Thanks for uh, tuning in, and we will see you all next time. Bye.